वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स फॉर आवर थर्ड सेशन व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन बायोडायवर्सिटी एंड इट्स कंजर्वेशन ओके बायोडायवर्सिटी सो बायोडायवर्सिटी इज वैरायटी एंड वेरिएबिलिटी अमंग लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑन वी कैन से इकोलॉजिकल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो देयर आर आल्सो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डायवर्सिटीज प्रेजेंट्स और वी कैन से डिफरेंट लेवर्स ऑफ डायवर्सिटी फॉर एग्जांपल जेनेटिक डायवर्सिटी देन स्पेसिस डायवर्सिटी एंड इकोलॉजिकल डायवर्सिटी so already in last two sessions or we can say already in last second session we have learned various types of ecosystem which is nothing but ecological diversity okay next point is bio geographical classification of india so india has various types of climate and topography in different region which is induced to develop enormous variety of flora and fauna so biogeography is the study of geographical distribution of flora and fauna around the world so now we will study biogeographical classification of india so if you observe this image so there are total 10 zones or we can say india has 10 zones related to biogeography so our first zone is trans himalayan region which is this this is region number 1 this region is also called as cold desert and it will include ladakh district of jammu and kashmir and some district of himachal pradesh then second region is called as himalaya region this include mostly north west himalaya west himalaya and central himalaya now third session or we can say third region is desert region this region lies on north western boundary of india which is this one okay so this will include kutch and thar region from india then fourth region is semi arid region this region represents area of transition between desert and deccan plateau which is shown as a zone number 4 this one this is called as semi arid region next region is called as western ghat region which is situated from tapi river or we can say where tapi river originates in gujarat state and it is up to kanyakumari next part is deccan plateau so this is largest biogeographical region of india covering almost 43% of land mass so if you observe this is this is called as deccan plateau this is the largest region in india okay and having high biodiversity next part is gangetic plain region it covers upper and lower gangetic plain and that will include areas from eastern side uttar pradesh bihar and west bengal next is northeast india region so this include basically north eastern states so which is called as this part so this is covered called as a northeastern india region and this region shows richest biodiversity due to presence of brahmaputra valley next region is islands so island includes andaman nicobar and lakshadweep islands last part is coast so it include relatively narrow and very long coastal line which is from gujarat to kanyakumari on west side and sundarban to east coast on right side and nearly total length of coast is 5400 km okay so this is called as biogeographical classification of india the next part of biodiversity is conservation but uh, before that we will observe various conservation provided for example by using national parks and wildlife sanctuary okay so if you observe in 1988 we have 54 numbers of national parks and 372 numbers of wildlife sanctuary okay so in total we have we are having 426 total protected areas for biodiversity so if you compare this 1988 statistics with this 2009 then we have increased number of national parks that is 54 to 99 and also wildlife sanctuaries from 372 to 513 so total we are having 658 
protected areas for biodiversity conservation okay so next part is conservation of biodiversity so basically conservation of biodiversity is essential for human survival okay and there are basically two types of biodiversity first one called as in situ biodiversity conservation that means when we conserve species in their own habitat is called as in situ conservation so for example national parks sanctuaries and biosphere reserves are called as in situ conservation technique second type of conservation will be ex situ conservation so when we conserve species or the part of species outside their own habitat is called as ex situ conservation for example gene banks or we can store seeds pollen grains this is a technique called as ex situ conservation so we have seen now ecology then in second section we have seen types of ecosystem and in this session we have learned biodiversity and its conservation so upcoming session is related to how to study or how to observe biodiversity spread among india or in india so for this we have used bis and bis mapping is used okay thank you in bis you will observe which is also called as biodiversity information system so you will get to know various locations in india for example issueries locations of fisheries then locations of fisheries then what are various tiger reserves or national parks and sanctuaries so all these locations you will observe in bis mapping even bhuvan is one more website available in our india which is provided by isro so you will observe both these website that is bhuvan as well as bis for observation of biodiversity thank you